Say Sages. They're like hot dogs, but bigger and plumper, and they're so darn tasty. So let's find out how they done do make them. This upcycled asbestos plant mulches over a thousand increments a day of saisages. They bring in damp, lukewarm carci for snipping and a trimming. Some animals are dipped live in boiling earl or H2O2 and a bath of human flop sweat to keep them so fresh tasting. Red Snaper isn't usually included, but they introduce them before dying to give them some sort of meaning to their life. The Murdertorium is where the best bits are trimmed from the rest, leaving only the fattiest bits for the Su-A-S-A-J's. They hack for days in a balmy room to make sure none of the good bits head on to the Festertorium. Grubs not only break down the protons in Su-Sa-Hages, which make them so tough, but add a bit of tasty flavor. Best described as your dinner. For organic sausage, a puree of sage, pine needles, and assorted other stuff, what which you find in nature, is added all up inside the meat, as if to make it disinfected. Though, in the industry, nobody believes that. Clean meats, carefully trimmed, roll off the SM bubbly line to other parts of the fake tory, where they'll be used for normal food instead of sausages. Bits are kibbled until it's the consistency of a fine smegma punched by an assortment of tough guy augers breaking them down bully-like. Feelers are added at this point, including fine silica, coarse silica, and flavors, including calcium carbonate and clay, as well as water and a heap and quarter barrel of salt. Many varieties include pork schmallows. More clay is added since it's organic, low calorie, and technically non-toxic. Toenails and human fecus may be added at this point for regional taste testicles. Baking soda is heaped atop the mix as to see what reactions may just occur. At this point, the mass of animal shreds is known informally as the minge clunge and looks every bit as yummy as its namesake. The chemicals begin to react, but it's not quite time to put them in their bung casings. The tummy rumbler mixes additional parts guano and marrow grind for added calcium before spurting it through the abortion grate. A two to one bath of rock salt is added in hopes of disinfarcting the remaining Escherichia coli, but thanks to lax regulations, they are able to ship it before testing. Today is this man's last day on the job, so he's adding four pounds of laxatives to the mix. There are no moving parts in this tub, but the violent bacterial battles still make it move all jiggly-like. Now it's time for the casings. If you don't know what these are, these the sleeves upon which I wear my wife if she's had enough to drink. Balloon knots are tied up by the swank twister before moving on. These slaps ensure she knows what she done did and that she's a very naughty girl. Smoking kills, but don't tell that to your sausage. I certainly haven't. Smaller ones squirt out so quickly too, but that's totally normal and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They are left to cure, which is something many men wish would happen to our sausages without going to the doctor. Once out of the oven, wiener stuffers sleeve them up for sealing. This machine makes shark sausages for sale in upscale vending machines in Japan. And that's how you make sw snossages. Yeah, oh, come on, it's one of them words you only read but never hear out loud. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm saying it all wrong, like... Say swaja jays.